Yes, and joining me now is Mr. Hunter Green himself. I'm calling you Mr. now after you signed that big contract, Hunter. <laughs> First of all, congrats. Oh, man. And uh, hello, welcome to the show. We appreciate you joining. How you doing, of man? Of course, man. Thanks for having me. I'm great. I'm great. Beautiful Pittsburgh. As you can see, we got we got a great backdrop here, man. So I'm good. Well, knowing the historian you are, did you go over to the Clemente Museum yet? You been over there? Yeah, yeah. I've been uh, last year, man. We came here like four or five times. So I, I went last year. Uh, I keep looking down here. I went last year. Uh, we didn't go this. Uh, we haven't gone on this trip uh, thus far. But yeah, we went last year. and It was great, man. Good experience. I, my jersey is actually up there, so it's pretty cool. All right. Well, let's talk about what happened last week in Cincinnati. You went, got a chance to have a press conference, sign a new contract. How'd the contract come about? And uh, just tell me your thoughts. Yeah, yeah. We started uh, early spring, and it was mutual. You know, we, um, you know, we're willing to have the conversation, thinking about the future, and vice versa. You know, on their end, wanting to, you know, do something and, and lock me up, and uh, we came to an agreement, of course. And uh, man, just a lot of, uh, you know, back and forth. You know, how it is. You know, during that process, and me trying to stay focused on the present and do well in spring, make sure I'm feeling good coming out of spring and going into the season. But. Uh, yeah, the press conference went well, and I think the most exciting part is, you know, being able to be at the forefront, uh, you know, bringing winning back to Cincinnati, and we have so many other guys that are obviously great players and good dudes, and we've all bought in. You know, early on in spring, we did a lot together as a team, built that chemistry, and taken it on into season, so um, it's, it's been great. Well, not many guys get drafted for a team and then get a big contract with the same club. It's just a unique time that you're in. And I, I think back now to when you were in high school and you knew the Reds were coming along. Is this what you envisioned a few years ago? Yeah, man, it's a blessing. Uh, it's just it's a full circle moment to, you know, to, to come up and get drafted, like you said, in 2017. And I think any organization wants to see that from players, you know, to uh, see the growth, you know, on the field and off the field and uh, for the player to buy into the system and, um, you know, see the vision that the organization has and for that player to buy into that. So uh, it's, it's been great. The relationship has been solid. Um, and just to be able to do everything within Cincinnati, you know, on the field and then in the community, uh, it's, it's, it's a really good, um, you know, situation to be in. And, and like I said, there's a lot of great guys that are already on this team, you know, that play hard. And uh, also a lot of players that are coming up through the system that that's going to be very uh, fun and exciting to watch. Well, when most people think about Hunter Green on the mound, they think about the 100 miles an hour you throw and how often you do that. I think about this has only been your second, maybe third full season as a pitcher. You're a multi, you're a, 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 a shortstop and a pitcher as well. How long have you just been concentrating on pitching and how much ha room do you now have to grow with that? Yeah, I mean, like you said, it's, it's really only been a few years. I think that's the most exciting part. You know, I'm trying to learn, you know, from the best and, you know, obviously constantly talking to our, our pitching coach and even picking our players' brains, you know, even guys on opposing teams and being able to have those conversations pregame, you know, during batting practice or whatever it is, um, but being able to kind of be a fly on the wall and just take in as much information as I can. You know, I think that's, that's really important with any player that wants to get better and uh, being able to, you know, humble yourself in a way and be able to, you know, go to some Somebody that you look up to or that you really like and, and talk to them um, and, and figure out some things, you know, whether, whether it's mechanical or thought process, pitch philosophy or just the day to day on routine. So all of that comes into play and um, it's, it's exciting, man. But like you said, I've only been doing it really for a few years, but I feel like I've learned a lot. And there's a lot more for me to learn, obviously. So it's, this could be fun. Well, one of the things that you, you've always impressed me with is one to be a leader, a leader of the pack, leading other kids with opportunities. Your story is well documented, going to the RBI, the academies, and what MLB's pipeline meant to you. Uh, this last week, we came up with some big news with RBI and Nike combining. Uh, I was just curious your thoughts of what that might do, having a brand like Nike involved for youngsters like yourself. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not, uh, yeah, I was just talking to my, my Nike rep the other day about it, actually trying to get some more information on it um, and kind of educate myself around that, that new partnership. But I don't know much about it, man, but I know, you know, obviously the support of Nike and such a solidified, established company coming in and, and branding and all that comes with it, uh, with, with being with Nike, I think is going to be fantastic for the game. It's going to be fantastic for MRI, R, uh, RBI and the sport in general. So uh, I, I think it's going to be great, and I, I can't wait to see what comes of it. Well, I talked about the pipeline a little bit. Last winter, I got a chance to spend some time with you in January at the Dream Series, one of the series you competed in. And one of the things you did so well, Hunter, was you brought all the young players and coaches out to your house. 
uh, for dinner. What a fantastic night. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that night? Yeah, man, you know, I went to the first Dream Series when I was 17, senior in high school, and had a fantastic experience. Uh, I really believe it's it's the only initiative or, or event where you have that many pro coaches and ex-pro players that are there all at once where they're really a wealth of knowledge, you know, whether it's working on stuff on the field, but also the stories off the field, um, things that they learned and still um, hold a lot of weight today in, in today's game. So uh, it, it was an amazing experience, and I just wanted to be able to provide kind of a different night for those guys, you know, um, away from their performance on the field and doing all the testing and shuttle running and all that stuff. You know, those guys are, you know, listening to public speakers that come in and, and talk to them. And I just want to do something a little different. Having a current player, I think, is, is really important for them to, to talk to and, and, to and to look up to. But also, like I said, you know, yourself, uh, CY and um, Jerry Manuel and so many amazing coaches that were there that were part of that night and that event. Uh, like I said, there's just a wealth of knowledge. So to be able to do that, create a pretty chill environment for them to just relax and kick back and have some good food. It was it was a really special and I'm looking forward to doing it in the future. Yeah, and you gave away a great parting gift, giving everybody a pair of Nikes on the way out the door they could have to participate <laughs> with. Hunter. Thank you for the time. Congrats on the contract, man. I'm so excited. They've invested in you, someone who's going to continue to hold it up the way they want it held up. And I'm really excited for your future, my man. So congrats on the contract. Thank you for the time. Much love, brother. Thank you.